On Leoni Plus, we have here different structures on the user interface. What we can see here in the beginning, in the upper left corner, we see always the status of the system. Let me show that by selecting the standby mode. And then we have here the message standby. Returning into the ventilation. Then we have here also on the alarm figures about the noise level adjustment. Then we have here the indication for power supply connection. The battery symbol is always present. In case that we have a loss of power supply, there will be indicated the time, remaining time of running on battery. The actual date. Then we have here the toolbox where we have several other functions, configuration opportunities. We will come back to that. Then we have here the um, log files. That means all the messages, alarms in the timestamp directly available. If you want to look for the last alarms, you can open that easily. Underneath of this complete first row, we can see here three different alarm windows is displaying their alarms with different priorities. Red is always on that positioning. But we have also an extension opportunity. That means here we have the opportunity to show full alarm messages over the whole screen in um, four different alarm situations. Then we have here directly the graphical user interface, the curves. And then we have here the trending opportunity where also maybe adjusted the time. Also free access to the meaning what we want to display. We can adjust here also for example the minute volume or some other parameters as a continuous graphical trending. In addition, we have a tabular trending that belongs to all informations, um, measuring, taking into account the measurement at a timestamp every five minutes. And in addition, it shows always the um, complete informations when you have started the system um, which settings were, and so on. The event log shows this completely as a catalog. This is a full memory. Up to four and a half thousand messages are scrollable. Beside, we have the actual measured values. These are on two tabs. We can switch between by touching here on the number. And we have the opportunity also to adjust different values on the first page. If you want to have the tau as a measurement displayed, that is no problem to select it here. Then we come directly to the graphics itself. As you can see, we have at first here the pressure graph, where we also can show the flow or the volume or if present, also the saturation signal from Massimo clock option, that you have a direct graph also for the saturation possible. It is also an opportunity to have here the abdomen sensor. If you have this option present, you can show the graph from the abdomen sensor. Then we have here also the opportunity to increase the number on the screen of graphs, what we want to display, or we can take it to only one graph with a higher resolution of the whole screen. At least adjustment of the time x. Also an opportunity, if you have a slow ventilation, you can have a longer time over the screen. If you have a fast ventilation of HFO, you can also use there the time of five seconds over the whole screen, for example. 
In addition, we have here now the selection from the different ventilation modes. We can add profile PSV to the SIPPV and SIMV ventilation mode. We can directly stop over to the NIV. Stop over means we are not interrupting the ventilation. We are able to change over into non-invasive ventilation. Patient is prepared and then we can directly start non-invasive ventilation by pre-selecting the ventilation mode. Beside, we have extraordinary, the FIO2 adjustment as a high premium priority. It has a different color to be obviously a very important tooling. Secondary, the flush function is present and by that you have the opportunity to release a flush to the patient. And this flush adjustment we have as an opportunity here also. We can adjust here the delta FIO2 as well as the time. Then we have here display configuration inside with brightness adjustment, activation of night mode. Then we have a configuration screen where you can adjust the maximum manual breathe time. Then you can also set the flow profile of the ventilator. Then we have automatic flow for the non-invasive ventilation, tube system selection and environment sound level adjustment, the approach in this functionality. Then we have opportunity to initiate and start an oxygen calibration. This is something what is normally not needed as we have an automized system test for an, autom an automized calibration for the oxygen cell. It means at least that the system is doing every 24 hours an automatic calibration without any influence to the ventilation. It is what is called a bypass calibration. SpO2 we already have for cluck. We can switch also only on the SpO2 function to measure the saturation of the patient from Leoni Plus. Flow calibration is the opportunity to run a calibration under working process on the patient. This functionality is also something what can be worked out.